Dear students, we will study the topic now, text reflow. Let us talk about how to make truly scalable pages. Now HTML by default is supposed to reflow text anyway. Any and text sizes are supposed to be consistent. But the worst side effect of this viewport stuff by default is that even with nothing said, the mobile browser is going to reflow text and render as if the window were 980 pixels wide and then scale it to fit on the screen. You can see two examples here. One is the big screen and the other is small screen on mobile and the text is has been contracted on the small screen. This may mean that the text looks really small on my mobile browser by default. So the second way to use viewport is if your page knows how to adapt to width. For example, if it knows how to wrap the contents based on the screen width, you can simply set the width to device width, which tells the browser my website knows how to adapt to your width. This is really the best approach to build applications that scale their own layout and make intelligent decisions about how to do so rather than just trying to scale a fixed layout to fit the screen. Here is the meta keywords example. Meta name viewport and uh, replace the content width is equal to device width. So let us try this out on this page. Let us add a device with meta element to a page and refresh it on the mobile browser. This is what our page looked like before. Now with the meta tag in place, let's try reloading it. And you can see the page now chooses a better size because it is reflowing at the native size of the screen.